guys, it's Kelly, and today I have yet another highly requested video for you. So ever since I started my Nail Polish 101 series, you guys have been asking me to do a video on how I shape my nails. So I do have a square nail shape. It's really not difficult to achieve that shape, so I'm gonna talk to you guys today about how I get that shape. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is cutting your nails. And I've said this before in some of my videos, but I'm just gonna say it again because it's very important. Do not cut your nails. I mean, you can cut your nails, but the reason I'm telling you do not cut your nails is because it actually weakens your nail. I have not cut my nails in like five years. So usually when I tell people that I only file my nails, they're like, what? That must take so long. It really doesn't take that long. It's super easy. So what I did for this video is I actually grew my nails out a tiny bit and I shaped them in like an oval shape so that I could show you guys how to go from that oval shape into the square shape that I currently have. If you have short nails and they are oval shaped, this is gonna be a process. It's not just gonna happen in one sitting. So you might have to start filing them the way that I show you and then wait a couple of days or possibly even a week and then continue filing them so that they become square over time because you don't wanna file them too short so that it's uncomfortable on your hand. You also want to be able to achieve that square shape. So definitely be patient if you want to have that square shape and you have short oval nails. It is totally worth the wait, I promise. So the type of file that I've been using for the last year or so is a glass nail file, specifically this one from Germanicure. There are a ton of reasons, honestly, why I prefer this type to the regular nail file and the kind that I used to use. One of those reasons is with those regular nail files that you buy, you have to replace them like all the time because they have that sandiness on them that after a while it falls off and then you have to replace it. So the cool thing about the glass file is that the sandiness is actually etched into the glass so it stays on there no matter how much you use it. You can wash it, you can sterilize it, you can use it over and over again. That's a really awesome feature to have. Like once you buy it, you don't really have to buy more. I do actually have like five of them and I like to just keep them because I don't want to just have one nail file. I keep one in my purse, I keep one on my desk, I keep one by my bed just in case I wake up with an urge to file my nails, keep one at work. So I mean, I do like to have more than one nail file, but my point is you can really just use the one nail file and it's totally fine. And this brand, like the reason that I really like it is just because it's a good brand, really high quality. They have like these cute little sayings on them that I totally love. This one that I'm holding right now says, if not now, when? And I just like their little motivational statements. I think they're cute. So one thing that they say about regular nail files is that you can't saw back and forth with your nails. You actually can just go in one direction like over and over again and you can't go back and forth. But because this is a glass nail file, you can actually do that sawing motion back and forth and it won't damage your nails. I get a little impatient. I don't wanna just go like this. So I do like to use this nail file because I can do that sawing motion. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I actually file my nail square. All right, so here are my beautiful rounded out nails for you guys. Of course, the first thing we want to do is take off the polish so you can see those white lines in that part of your nail where it is growing out. And I am going to take my nail file. This is actually the one that I keep by my bed. And I think it's hilarious because it says, wake up and be awesome. Did it, check. Just kidding, that was a terrible joke, I'm sorry guys. So just to do a quick comparison so you could see how long I actually had to grow out my nail in order to make it square, you can see that on the corners of my nail, that white part of the nail that grows out is significantly longer than where it is in the middle of the nail. So that's actually how long I have to make it in order to file it down to be square and have that perfect square shape. Like I said, if you want, you can start this process with shorter nails and then as they grow out throughout the course of the week, you can continue filing, squaring them out more and more until they are perfectly square. So this is how much I had to grow. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my nail file perpendicular to my nail and I am just gonna start filing. Like I said, because I have the glass nail file, I can do the sawing motion, but if you have a regular one, I would not do that sawing motion. So I'm just gonna keep on going. You can see it's already starting to form that square shape. You just wanna have that very flat line. So one trick that I like to do that I haven't really seen anybody else do is instead of just doing like the regular motion of back and forth, what I actually do is I will hold the file perpendicular to my nail and I will file it like this. I just feel like I can tell easier like how to make the square exactly perpendicular to my finger rather than making it like accidentally lopsided. And the other reason I like to do that is because after you file your nail, you might notice that there's like this edge underneath of like all that nail that's been filed off that's like still stuck on the bottom of your nail. And like I just lightly file upward and that just falls off. I just 
in general just like filing like this just because I feel like I can see it easier, I can do it easier for the sake of this, this video. I did do it just in that sawing motion back and forth because you can just see that easier on the camera. So yeah, I will do it both ways, horizontally and vertically, and just to get that finished product, I probably file my nails once a week, but that's because they grow really quickly. So if you guys are actually interested in a video on how to grow your nails quickly, let me know in the comments because my nails grow so fast and I have some tips for you. That is it for this video. I will put a link to this file that I love in the description box below. You can check it out and you can see all the cute little mantras that they have on their website. That is all below. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see another Nail Polish 101 video. You can leave a comment letting me know what kind you want to see. And yeah, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. There's probably a button right here. Maybe not. If there isn't, you can just click on the subscribe button next to my name. And that's it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Do you ever have one of those days where you like start to do your eyeliner and it just gets really dramatic on one side and then you have to get equally dramatic on the other side but then that side is like a little bit too dramatic and then you like can't stop at that point so you gotta just keep going back and forth and evening it out. That happened to me today and it's like so dramatic. It's like almost to my ears right now. Like that's how intense my wing is today but I didn't want to take it off because that's just, that's so much. I'd rather just have a really crazy wing and pretend I did it on purpose. So that's what's happening with the face.